Hey there everyone, this is the Tech Thing for YouTube channel, where we talk about instrumentation, analytical instrumentation, automation, also process technologies. What we're going to be talking about today is how to calculate level calibration with a pressure differential transmitter. First off, what we need to do is calculate the span of calibration. So we're going to write down the question. When measuring a tank filled with water that has a specific gravity 1 and the dry leg has a constituent of a specific gravity of 1.8, we must draw everything out. So here we're going to go ahead and draw everything out. The specific gravity of 1 is what is in the tank and the height of the tank is indicated by 12 feet. The high pressure side, which is the very bottom of the tank, has a wet leg and a dip leg. And then the pressure transmitter on the right hand side has the low pressure, which is the dry leg and the constituent specific gravity of 1.8. The lower range value and the upper range value is what we're going to do next. We're going to calculate that lower range value. The lower range value, how I like to always say it, is the bottom minus the top. And it's just not the bottom, it's the bottom of the tank. And the top is the top of the constituent. We have to convert that all into inches. So we're going to convert our feet into inches so we can make it into inches of H2O. So the lower range value ends up equaling negative 259.2 inches of H2O. Now we're going to go ahead and calculate the upper range value. Now we have the upper range value, and how I like to always say it is the top minus the top. It's not the top. It's the top of the tank minus the top of the constituent. And we want to put that all into inches of H2O. So we're going to convert our feet into inches of, into inches of H2O. So the upper range value is going to end up equaling negative 115.2 inches of H2O. So now we're going to calculate our span of calibration. The calibrated span's formula is span equals URV minus LRV. The span is equal to the upper range value minus the lower range value. So here we have negative 115.2 inches of H2O, and that red vertical line is us subtracting it from negative 259.2 inches of H2O. When we subtract a number from a negative number, we add the number because it becomes a positive number. So that's negative 115.2 inches of H2O added to 159.2 inches of H2O. So therefore the span equals 144 inches of H2O. I hope this video did help you out. Thank you for watching. Be sure to thumbs up if this video did help you out. And I'll catch you in the next one.